I'm Leah Merrill here at the TPC Waste Management Open. I'm here with Scotty Upshaw and Shane O'Brien of the Miss and Curfew podcast. Just a couple questions. How do you feel about the Arizona Coyotes potentially playing in an arena with fewer seats than the 16th hole <laughs> right here at the Waste Management Open? I mean, I think the 16th hole now is like the Super Bowl, so uh, you can't feel that bad. <laughs> th th this, this sort of attraction right now for sports is incredible. What's going on with the Phoenix Coyotes is eh, some people have mixed mixed feelings. I think right now it's good. Um, why not move them to Tempe, get the fans around here kind of getting that vibe of like, well, yeah, if they're in downtown Phoenix or you know near, near ASU or in Scottsdale, this whole thing works. I experienced that when I played here. Uh, I always wanted the rink to be down here in Scottsdale where there's more people, there's more fun. Um, you know, you can drink and do your thing like this. So I'm actually for it. Yeah, I mean, from the players' perspective, um, there's a word we don't like called escrow. So if you ask the players around the league about escrow, they're probably not thrilled. But um, all the things up be said about the players being, you know, in Tempe and um, with a better atmosphere, I think that's a good idea. But, um, yeah, it doesn't sound perfect, 5,000 feet arena. But we'll see how it works out. It'll be good atmosphere. Well, you guys played here. So thoughts on just hockey working in Arizona in general. Do you think an NHL team belongs here? Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. I, I think we both do from, uh, you know, from a, a hometown perspective and from a visiting team perspective. Everyone loves to come to Scottsdale. Um, there, like I said, there's great attractions here. There's great hotels. There's great restaurants. It's a very culinary city, um, and it has a lot of Canadians. Canadians love hockey. Um, Austin Matthews is born in in AZ, so there's you know there's a lot of upside to the team staying here. They just need to make it work, and unfortunately Glendale doesn't work. So, you know, f figure out how to build the barn. I mean, help put the hockey rink in the middle. I of I was gonna say they should do like uh, a, a the winter classic there. in there. Or something. Yeah, they, they really should. <laughs> I mean. The ice rink would actually fit in there. It'd be tough to really work around the greens and the the bunkers. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, stick the two nets, put some blue lines, freeze it over. And Perfect. I mean, anything's better than Glendale right now. So. No, I, I think hockey for sure can make it here for all the reasons up you said. And, and Glendale's never been the right situation. We all that know. We know. We all know that now. Sorry. And for me, do you know how many Ubers and taxis I had to take from Scottsdale to Glendale back to my hotel at like three in the morning? So the timing's not perfect. I wish it would have happened ten years ago. But I say keep walking in Arizona there's some good fans here awesome and then last question any big plans this weekend for you guys in Scottsdale what are you going to be getting up to I'm sure we'll try to miss curfew a, yeah. few, a few times Dipple tonight. So, up. I think Duppy's got yeah, Dipple we set got up the bird's nest lined up uh, we're going to take this all in actually and really kind of share you know through through our following show the fans and show what waste management open is to uh, you know this little area of the world and and to all the golfers and how much fun they have here. So, you know, it's it's to highlight that whole thing. So. Yeah, plus we were just in Vegas for All-Star Weekend. Oh, God. So <laughs> it took about it took about four IV bags to get me here. So uh, last night was chill, but we're gonna we're gonna let it rip for sure. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.